Hi, I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org and today I'm going to talk about a chemistry coloring book. Yes, we have been studying chemistry. We've done elementary chemistry with my younger two kids and high school chemistry with my older two students. And so um, we have done 16 uh, experiments on my blog and on my YouTube channel that we just finished up. And, um, and so during the time that we have been studying chemistry, we have been doing one coloring page for each element to learn all about that element, okay? And because we've spent five minutes each day on one element, the kids have familiarized themselves with the elements from the periodic table. <clears throat> so that coloring book is called the Periodic Table of elements coloring book and what it is is um, on one side you have a bullet list of um, information on that element and then on the other side you have pictures for them to color about that element. Now the cool thing about this is that visually it helps you to remember uh, what it is that the element is all about. So we started with hydrogen, which is the absolute lightest element that exists, very super light, and then helium. Now for helium, you can go into a party supply store and find a helium balloon. You could buy a helium balloon or just look at the helium balloons. What are they doing? They're rising up. Um, it, they will rise up into the sky because they're lighter than air. So the helium is lighter than the air around us. And so that shows something about that element. And the the pictures in the coloring book kind of bring that to life for kids. Now, one super fun thing that we did that my daughter, my nine-year-old daughter, um, said in the car one time we were driving around one night and she saw some neon signs and she says, Mom, neon number 10, atomic number 10. Like she knew that it was atomic number 10 because we had just colored it that day and she wanted us to drive around and look for a hunt for neon signs. And so um, this came bubbling up out of her as a result of this coloring book. So what I'm saying is that um, my kids internalized the elements and they enjoyed them <clears throat> and now when we see shows about elements that are mentioned we know what those elements are and my older two kids uh, that are in high school they're doing um, conversions with moles and all these things and when they're doing their conversions they're looking at the atomic mass units or trying to find them on the periodic table well it's much easier to find them on the periodic table. Why? Well, when we do the coloring page, I also show it on the uh, periodic table of elements, which is at the front of the book. It can, it's also at the front of almost any um, a chemistry book or anything like that as well. So you can look at the periodic table of elements now. The lightest ones are on the top and the heaviest ones are on the bottom. So when you're halfway through the coloring book, any elements that are unfamiliar are heavier and the elements that are familiar to you at this point are lighter. And the further back that you colored an element, the lighter that element is. Okay, so if you do get this coloring book, I recommend doing one per day. Another thing that you can do <clears throat> is to go on a hunt for the different elements around your home. For example, when you study sodium, you can look up uh, salt in your kitchen. Um, sodium is um, uh, part of NaCl, which is table salt, and people say, I need to lower my sodium, so eat fewer potato chips or whatever. Um, so you can go and look around your house for different things. We have a um, rocks and minerals collection and we found some of those uh, periodic table of elements uh, th some of those elements inside there. Take a look at a couple of the elements that we found. This one right here is pure copper, so that is an element from the periodic table. Here is some copper inside of a rock. 
here's peacock copper ore. There's some copper inside there. This is a beautiful rock. And over here we have silver ore. There's actual silver inside this rock, okay? So that's kind of cool. If you look in, in your rocks and minerals collection, you might find some other uh, really neat elements. You can also see in jewelry, like in my ring, you can see gold, okay? So that is another element from the periodic table. As you can see, we learned a lot from coloring the Periodic Table of Elements coloring book. Um, this is good for my um, chemistry students for high school as well as my elementary students. All of them became more familiar um, with the Periodic Table of Elements. I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org. Thanks for watching.